G'day everyone, welcome to another Back to Basics video. In this one we're going to be talking about how to put the, how to secure the PCB inside the enclosure. Um, how do you stick it down inside the enclosure um, uh, and you know what methods you use, uh, what methods you can use. I'm going to show you some examples, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you some of the examples of the ways that I've done it in the past um, and there's a few different ways to do it um, depending on the size of, it, size of the enclosure and things like that. Got a few examples on the desk behind me, so let's shoot over there and, and take a look at them. Okay, so there's actually a bit of a message behind what I'm going to be pointing out here, but we'll go through these three so that we can um, get to the sort of conclusion of the video. So the first one on the left here is a tone pad PCB. It's a it's a tube screamer, um, and it has standoffs. It's got holes that you can put these plastic standoffs. You can see the little uh, the two little plastic standoffs coming through the top there, and they clip so that once you put it down, it clips down. You can still get it back out again, you just gotta use some pliers and pull it out. Um, but that'll, that'll hold the PC bounce, PCB down, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's stuck down with those, with those uh, plastic standoffs. Um, so that's one way that you can do it, but that is not a very common way of doing it. In fact, you'd probably struggle to find a PCB maker that actually does it this way. And if you're new to building pedals, you'd be thinking to yourself, well, how else are you gonna keep it down? Well, there are a couple of ways, um, and like I said before, there's actually a bit of a, bit of a message behind um, what I'm going to get across here. So this is a Hydra Fuzz, this is one of my PCBs and this is a common way that people do it, um, pe people hold the PCB down these days, the PCB fabric uh, designer will put um, um, will put these these pots so that you can just solder, you can see the top there, that, that, those red things are actually the tape on the back of the pots and then you've got the three pins across the top there. So the pots are the thing that's holding the PCB down. And that's a better way of doing it in my opinion. Um, of course, it's all about opinion with this stuff, but in my opinion, this is a better way and I think that's why most people do it this way these days. This one on the right here is another tone pad one um, and it would have had, it probably would have had um, uh, holes for mounting uh, for, the, for the plastic standoffs, but I haven't used them because they just take up too much room. I mean, you can see this tube screen is in a BB um, which is just totally unnecessary. You should be able to fit a tube screamer in just a in, in just a B. Now, if I hadn't used those plastic standoffs, I probably could have just put the board above, just sort of you know loosely left it above the um, the pots. I've also you can see I've also used 24 mil pots, which are just massive. But like I said, it was an early build, um, so yeah, you could probably just float the board across the top like that. That is pretty much exactly what this one's doing. So it's not stuck down. Why do you need to stick a PCB down inside an enclosure? Well, you don't really. I mean, once you put the once you put the the, the plate on the back of it, um, generally there's not much, there's not going to be much room left for the PCB to move anyway. Particularly if it's a tight build like this. If it was like this and it wasn't stuck down, it might float around a bit and rattle. And that obviously you don't want that. But this board should fit in this enclosure anyway. So you might be able to see where I'm going with this. It should be in an enclosure that the PCB suits. Um, in this case it is, and that's why I haven't stuck it down. Um, otherwise, you can use one that's got these pot mounts in, which is an even better option because then it, it fits in the enclosure that's supposed to be in and it doesn't move around. So it's kind of like the ideal solution. Um, but otherwise you can just go with something like this. Plastic standoffs or standoffs in general aren't very common. I know some people use them and I'll probably get a few comments saying, I use them, I, they work great, etc., etc." You know, it's, it's again, it's opinion, preference. Um, but personally, for me, I'd rather go with something like this. It's just simpler, takes up less room, and same with that one. And, th and there are other ways to hold down a, a PCB as well that's not shown here, um, but these are three of the most common ways that I've done in the past, um, and there's, there's really no need to stick it down. You know, you don't need to put tape on the back of it and stick it down. Um, it, it's just not necessary. You do need to put tape on the back of something like this if it is flopping around, you need to put some electrical or double-sided tape on the back because it can short out. So, because it does have a little bit of room to move. So you can see it does move a little bit there and they all will do that if you haven't stuck them down. Um, so just make sure that you isolate the back of the board so the copper tracks and the pins um, and the solder points don't touch um, the enclosure because as you might know, the enclosure is ground and you don't want random stuff touching ground because your effect's gonna be cutting out and doing all sorts of strange things. So hopefully that um, just gives you a bit of a bit of a background as to how to 
how to secure the PCB inside. Um, a lot of the times you don't even do it, you just leave it in there. There's no, there's just no room in there for it to flop around anyway. And if I put the back plate on that and shake it, there's only going to be very minimal um, room for it to move anyway. Um, so yeah, that was the point of the video. You don't have to actually, you know, you don't have to secure it down. It doesn't need to be stuck down as such. Um, um, but um, yeah, if you've, if you've got the pop mounts on there, it just makes it even easier. So that's it for this video. Um, hope it helped you, yeah, get your head around how you're going to get that PCB um, in the enclosure. And um, stay tuned for more Back to Basics videos and guitar pedal related videos. Thanks for watching.